We're going to do a turn on the forehand while we're standing still here right now. I'm going to move his hip to his left to start with. So I'm going to have my bridle reins coming just like we were doing in the exercise where we were we were riding the inside leg, you know, inside hip up to the outside bridle rein. So I'm going to I'm going to bring my hands both of them towards his right hip. Both bridle reins are engaged the same. Now I'm going to utilize my right foot and it should start his hind end moving. I don't want his front end to move at all. I just want the hind end to move. So because of where the bridle reins are coming back to his hip, when I engage the inside leg, it, it keeps the front end stationary and the hind end moves around the front end. That's a, that's a turn on the forehand. Okay. With that turn on the forehand, that's a useful tool in opening and closing gates. It's a useful tool maybe if you're heading and you want to face your head horse up, you know, being able to move the hind end and keep the front end stationary is very beneficial. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful tool in hip control. So there's, there's a lot of uses for a turn on the forehand. I want to have the ability to do it both ways. You notice that my hands are off to the left when I'm moving the hip to the right. And when I'm moving his hip to his left, my hands are off to the, to the right. So it's, it's a matter of where your hands are and which leg you're using. Hands off to the left, use the left leg and it'll move the hip to the right. Hands off to the right, use the right leg and it'll move the hip to the left.